Welcome to Weld.com. I'm going to run a Blue Demon product today, uh, an 035 wire called 58FCG. I'm going to run it on C25. I'm starting out on a, on a dummy piece here. This is a plowshare that's been worked over before. And while I'm looking at this, I'm looking at the overlay and it has transverse cracks across this. And it has been done before. I don't know if the camera can get right in here tight but there's a big old crack across here and I see that it's cracked around this bolt hole. Again, it's not anything that we're gonna save per se. I wanna, I wanna test this wire out and run it on this part. I know this part has got high carbon, probably some manganese to it, maybe a skosh of vanadium. And um, I did a little grind check on it. I could probably look this up and get with the student that donated it. Again, I want to run this wire because I'm curious to see how it's going to run. I want to run it down low. I'm going to start out at 20 volts and 300 inches a minute. I've got 30 cubic feet per hour on my flow meter, uh, 75 to 25 on my gas. And I want to turn this up. I'll probably want to go 22 and a half volts, maybe 375, 400, and then I want to go 24, 25 volts and get it way up into the hot globular, almost a spray type, just to, just to kind of get a feel. I expect to see some spatter, but I'll try to keep that to a minimum. Again, I wouldn't worry about that. If this going in the ground, the main concern is hard surfacing, wear resistant, okay? Let me get my sleeves on, I'll be right back. Okay, that first one, I ran along this outside edge because I wanted to get a little buildup on it. <clears throat> I will probably run in um, next to it. I'll probably start, I may even start in here, run along here and then come around this outside edge. And then I wanna run some other passes and progressively turn this up. I may even come out here on the front and go across some of these transverse cracks just to see what it's gonna do. I ran a couple of passes across here. The first one was at 20 volts, 300 wire feed speed. I got a couple of passes around the outside that I thought was, I was comfortable with, just so I wouldn't blow this outside edge up. And then I went up to 22 and a half and 375 on the wire feed speed. And it laid in, it was a little more, I'm gonna say globular, a little more unstable, but it laid down pretty nice. I'm looking at the toe of the weld to see how it blended, and I'm looking at the profile. I've got just one button of glass up here on top. I've got a little bit in the starts and stops. I came across this front that whatever created this ginormous crack in here, when I went across it, it really opened up, but then it filled itself back in nicely. So now I want to take a uh, a, uh, it's not quite a mill file, but it's a fine file, and I want to feel this. And yeah, it's hard because I'm not cutting into it with the corner of this file. So I'm going to say that this has got some superior 
hardness wear factor to it just by just by feeling it with the fi with the file so now i want to go ahead just to see how this is going to run i want to crank this up to like 25 and a half volts 26 and a half volts and really get after the wire feed speed to see how we can lay this down and see if it's going to fill and get a good wide spot here for deposition so let me let me adjust this machine i'll be right back Okay, I've made multiple passes across here. I started out at a low volt, low wire feed speed, 20 and 300, and started out around this edge. I welded across an existing crack, and it was a pretty good one, because when I welded across it, whatever was on there before, and I wasn't worried about it, um, it opened up big time, it just kind of blew up, but then it sealed itself shut when I welded over with this wire. Um, and then uh, we did a 22 and a half and 375, somewhere in that range. I made a couple more passes to butt up against that. And we're finishing up here at 27, five and 550 inches a minute. And what I did was I, I shouldered up against these other welds to kind of get some buildup. And then I told you this thing was cracked across here. It shows some real fine transverse cracks across whatever was on here before and this is worn as you can see and then it goes into the the regular material so there's an overlay on here and apparently whatever it is this cracked across it in a transverse fashion so it must be super hard and didn't like what what it was on anyway i welded over the top of that as an experiment to see what was going to happen this stuff did not crack this stuff has sealed everything back up. I started back here on this back shoulder and welded around through the toe of the weld. And then there was another crack that started right on this bolt hole. As a matter of fact, it was into it. And I just kind of, you know, I wanted to weld over the top of that and see what was going to happen. It did not crack back out next to the toe of the weld. Now, do I have some spatter? Yeah. Am I worried about it? No, I am not. And it's, it's hard spatter. If it was unsightly, I'd grind it off and buff it off. But again, this thing's going in the ground. I'm not worried about it. Anyway, good little experiment to see how this wire was going to run. I need, to get, with, um, I need with, to get with the student that works ground and have him bring some others in. This was a rejected piece and we played with it because of the material. But I need to get him one that's usable and one he's gonna put back in the ground. And I need to experiment and run some of this stuff. Let him run multiple hours on it and then pull it back out and we'll take a look at it and see what the wear factor was and see if it's usable. So, um, hey, I learned a lot on this one here. I hope you did too. I appreciate you watching. Please subscribe to the videos. Bob Moffitt with Weld.com, thank you.